And that is Queen Braun. Oh, yes. Now, you may be looking at it and thinking, how on earth did Garnet come from that? More on that later. I love the soundtrack. So that guy at the back is the captain of the Knights of Pluto. Uh, supposedly the Queen's personal guard, essentially. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured by her father, King Leo. When our story begins, Marcus, having heard of this, crosses swords with the king. And now, your royal majesty, Queen Bran, your highness, Princess Garnet, Noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers, Tantalus proudly presents, I want to be your canary. Bereft of father, bereft of mother, Marcus, thou hast lost everyone. Fortune hath escaped thee, for what end shalt thou live? For the sake of our friend, let us bury our steel in the heart of the wretched King Leo. I. We shall back thee, kinsman, now. Pray sheath thy sword, this villain is mine alone. Nay, kinsman, for I too have lost a brother to this fiend. What ho! Out vermin away, thou darest bear the sword before the king. All shall stand in my way, will be crushed. Treacherous Leo, my kinsman's suffering shall not be in vain, for I shall instruct thee in his incomparable pain. Yes, it's all very grandiose. Again, loving the music. Absolutely loving the music. So, yeah. Theatre. Time to do some theatre. Um, now. You can attack King Leo to end this, this quickly. Or you can take out his guards. You've got special effects move you can use. They don't do any damage, but they look pretty. And I can't remember if he carries anything. Let's try stealing stuff. Oh, no. Steel command has been changed with uh, special effects. So let's do the special effects. And then we'll give the... Um, then we'll give the king a Dan. Okay. See, it's that sort of thing. Pretty effect, zero damage. Pyro! So I just thought I'd show you the special effects. There we go. And then we'll start punching him in the face. There we go. So two of your characters have Pyro, one has Molly, and one has Medium. This is the only time in the game that you will see these effects in the reserve, so you might as well watch them while they're available. There we go. So now we're just going to thump them in the face. Taste steel! Clamp pinch. Clamps. Right, his bodyguards are pretty pathetic. They are actually also members of Tantalus. Um, you're not actually killing them, I feel like you're going out. You don't even have to attack them, I just thought I would for the sake of completeness, because I like every one of my enemies being taken. And yes, he has a Union Jack as a t-shirt. Or it looks a bit like a Union Jack. On the one hand, I'm not sure if that was intentional. On the other hand, it would seem a bit odd for it to not be intentional. It's not hard.
Arg, grr. Thou hast not seen the last of me, Marcus. Come back! Out of the way, blank. Consider this, Zidane. If Prince Snyder were to marry Princess Cornelia, peace would reign over both their kingdoms. So this is where blank suddenly has a change of uh, mind. Tis foolishness if all were so easy why none would suffer in this world. Time for a sword fight. El hombre! So you now have a little cinematic sword fight. You know, it's purely theatrical and the crowd will reward you based on how much they enjoyed the fight and also later on in the story you get to talk to i think you talk to the queen and based on how the fight went she will give you a reward expect no quarter from me on guard so to follow blank's lead enter the correct commands from the following choices now please bear in mind i am used to doing this on a playstation controller rather than an xbox controller so it's entirely possible i will pause up the lettered combinations okay. So this is going to be relatively difficult for me. Compared to what I'm used to anyway. And as it progresses, the uh, There were different combinations added in. shall finish this later. Come back here. Of the hundred nobles watching, 34 were impressed, which is not great. I missed a number of crops. I'll try that once more, um, because I would actually quite like to get the item later on. But uh, like I say, I am used to PlayStation buttons, so it's like press X, and I end up pressing A instead, because yeah. Queen Bram was not impressed. The audience did not enjoy it to perform the fight scene again. It is actually quite, they're quite harsh. If you get, a, you know, one thing wrong, suddenly the audience are going, well, this was rubbish. So let's do that again. Oh, let's, let's go again. Is that the best thou canst do? Die, traitor. Right. Here we shall finish this later. Uh, of the hundred nobles watching, 95 were impressed. That'll do. Queen Bram was not impressed. Because I got one button wrong. One. We're going to try this once more. I might edit this bit out because I want Queen Bram, Queen Bram to be damn impressed because I want my rewards. I'm quite a... Yeah. They demand an encore before the fight scene again, yes. Right.
that was perfect. Of the 100 nobles watching, 73 were impressed. That was perfect! Okay, well, screw this. God damn it. They shower you with 480 gil. Fantastic. No, as in I had the button combinations perfect, but apparently that wasn't good enough. Doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world. You can get the items later anyway. Finish changing, Zidane. Yeah, but this helmet... It kind of smells. What are you talking about? My helmet totally reeks. My armor's way too big. And my back's real itchy. The boots are wet. My gloves are all slimy. There's cookie crumbs in my pockets. Okay, I get the picture. You still have the package, right? Don't worry, I won't screw up. Alright, first I'll go pour some sleep potion into Princess Garnet's teacup. And I've got a special something for the lovely queen. Hee <laughs> hee, they're sleeping so soundly. So, we now go to Alexandria Castle. And we shall continue this little interlude. Or shall we? According to Recon, the royal seats should be right above these stairs. Got it. Uh-oh, the scene where Marcus sneaks into Cornelia's chamber is about to start. Oh, dear. Let's get this over with before the finale, okay? Right, so we're going to call that there. I'll come and rejoin this uh, another time. This is where we're getting onto the kidnapping the princess bit, and things kind of go a little bit pear-shaped. Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying, and I will catch you in another video. Ciao, ciao.